step one is done, right? We ordered our stuff, now we need to launch a business. Mm -hmm. So launching the business means we need to pick a date where we're gonna invite everyone you know. And my first piece of advice is we'll never judge a soul, because some will do it, some won't. Mm -hmm. The people you think will be great won't. And vice versa. It's just it's a weird industry, but it's how it works, right? So we need to pick a date. We'll, we'll pick a date on the computer because my calendar's on here, and we'll pick a date no no longer than 10, 12 days from now. Okay. Because the reason you want to do that is think long term behind this. You want to see success right away, right? Mm -hmm. So then, because you want the people that are about to join you to go, wow, he succeeded right away. Mm -hmm. So I want to too, mm -hmm. right? Yep. All right. Here's my calendar. That is a lot. Uh huh. It's a, it's a, a see popular where we thing. We're the 31st of the. Yeah, okay, so let's go into September. So, boom, in Cleveland. So, if we're here, mm. okay, I think we should do it maybe that Sunday. Or around there? Around there. Yeah, right. <laughs> around there, yeah. One of those two oh, days. Yeah, de yeah, depending on. You want to pick that day? Yeah. Cool. All right, hold on. Um, okay, got it. So we are good. There we go. Now, cool. that's done. Now we're going to go step three. After that, you pick a date is you want to show people uh, we need to go in, name your websites, right? So mm -hmm. then you have websites. Mm -hmm. And then I'll show you how we're going to make out a list of everyone you know, and I'll teach you how to call them so you're not talking for 10 years. Mm -hmm. It takes, literally, we have a system where you, you, you basically talk to someone for a minute, you have them hear a little bit about the information, research the information, then we invite them to a party. So that way they know why they're coming. It's respectable rather than showing up blind mm -hmm. going, why am I here? Mm -hmm. So that's really it. You know, when I first met Jeremy, uh, you know, he told me about the possibilities of the industry, a little bit about it, and, uh, you know, a lot of excitement, you know, from the get-go, from, from my standpoint, to you know, hear about how you kind of control your life and how you can go out and do things to help people, and, you know, and also make a little bit of income off of that, um, you know, really got my mind turning. And uh, to go through this whole process with him, I think has been great. Uh, just to know that I'm going to have someone like Jeremy to kind of help me through things is what probably sealed the deal for me. Um, being someone that's never done anything like this, you know, to, to have that in your back corner, uh, someone who has been as successful as Jeremy has, uh, it's, it's just a great help. I mean, it was the first time I ever met with him. He called uh, Matt Laird down in, in Texas, and he had me talk to him. You know, he does the same type of thing down there, but it's just a team concept, and that's something that I've been involved with my whole life, and it's something that I enjoy. And, uh, you know, I, I really get that sense of feel of that team concept here um, with this company. So, you know, I'm excited to jump on board, and, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, that, that six months we talked about is going to be a little bit quicker. We'll see what happens. Okay. Okay. 6, 10 p.m. at night and my day is still going. Uh, let's, let's do a recap first. Um, woke up, uh, checked some emails, checked Facebook, checked my bank accounts, checked all these different things and uh, stretched for a bit. Woke up Stuart, we went and um, Let's see, met with uh, the, the two owners of the cafe downstairs who want to uh, sell the shakes inside their cafe and get people healthy, make a little bit more money. And then I met with um, my buddy Chuck, who's the homeless individual that wants to uh, change his life. And then we met with the state senator, went to the state senate house and uh, had a cool day there. And then we met with, with who we meet with next, Lisa from the food bank that runs five of the biggest food banks in the state who also uh, uh, remember that um, um, I did a lot of work with um, a woman that was on Dateline NBC and the Senator Stewart, so I guess word's getting around, which is cool. Network marketing works, people talk, so that's good. And we just uh, followed up with uh, and uh, started a business with Justin Zwick, who was a high state, famous high state quarterback and who was looking to change some lives and make some more money so he doesn't get stuck in a job he doesn't want to be in. And now, um, let's see, now we're up to uh, uh, next here, have about an hour break and then I have meetings back to back with several uh, 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 men in the, the gay community that are very, very respectable that actually approached me and said, look, uh, we love healthy stuff, we can get people healthy and we love money. So that's another part of the community we're going to touch and that's going to be a day for me. But to recap the meeting with Justin, there's two lessons behind that. 
if you ever come across someone that's famous, uh, uh, I don't mean movies and music, uh, uh, athletes, ex-athletes, a lot of people that thought they had a way of life, they're still famous in their own way, a lot of people know them, those kind of people is what I'm saying. Um, don't feel you need to change our system. For one, one lesson would be I still ran, as you could see, the same system with Justin I'd run for anyone else. Especially because the system works, but even more importantly, these people are very busy individuals that a lot of people know, so they want to hear a simple system. They don't want something complicated. But the second lesson behind that is, when you meet someone like that, there's no need for a different approach. You especially never want to make the mistake of just going straight into business because they get it all the time. A lot of people want to use them for their name and for their influence and all the people that know them and make money from them, whereas we don't. My whole approach is, you know, of course I knew who he was, but let's get to know him a bit, see what his life's about, become his friend first or a friend at the same time, and business might be brought up, it might not. So at least, at least is you'll come out with a good friend, that's a good thing. But, but never approach someone with just business because that's a, you know, it's an immediate, immediate deterrent. You don't want to do that. So two lessons of the day, you know, when it comes to working with Justin was run the same system so they can hear something that's simple and they can do and all of their friends and people can do and treat them with the same respect as you would anyone else. Get to know them first instead of going straight into business. So it made it that much more smooth. There's that much more trust in me and me and him. And it'll, it'll be a great time. It'll, it'll definitely change his life, there's no doubt in my mind. So take those two lessons and, uh, and run with them, no matter who you meet. So that's my uh, system for the day, and uh, I'm off to do a meeting with some fun uh, guys in the gay community. Looking forward to it. Definitely a lot of diversity in this industry. So see you soon.